Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a very simple and absolutely delicious chicken a la king recipe. So first up, in a small saute pan on medium to high heat, you're going to add some canola oil to it, followed by uh, some quartered up cremini mushrooms or some shiitake mushrooms, whichever you prefer. Both will work. Uh, then you're going to add a garlic clove and some freshly picked thyme to the pan as well. Uh, give this a few tosses just to distribute some of that savory garlic and thyme flavor uh, throughout all the mushrooms. Uh, then you're going to add some cold diced butter and continue to cook these mushrooms for an additional three to four minutes just until they get really beautiful um, golden brown color and uh, they're very, very tender. Uh, next you're going to add some diced up chicken breast and you're going to continue to cook this uh, with a little bit of salt and pepper uh, for another three to four minutes just until the chicken gets a little bit of color and is lightly cooked. Alright, next you're going to add your all-purpose flour to this mix. Just sprinkle a little bit over the top of the chicken and the mushrooms. Give it a few tosses just to make sure that flour is evenly coating everything inside the pan. Then you're going to deglaze this with some sherry wine and you're going to want to make sure to cook out the alcohol which will take about a minute or two on high heat. And the aroma will sort of change from sort of this pungent sort of acidic smell to a very sweet aroma. Once that's done you're going to add your cold milk to this and continue cooking for another three to four minutes until it becomes this really thick and beautiful gravy like stew. All right, so while that's reducing on the stove, uh, you're gonna wanna grab your rustic sourdough loaf, cut a few really thick slices right out of the middle, uh, drizzle a little bit of olive oil right over the top, and then you're gonna throw these slices into a 500 degree oven for about five minutes until they get dark golden brown and just beautifully crispy. All right, so once the toast is done and your chicken and uh, mushroom gravy has thickened up, just generously top the toast uh, with this beautiful mixture. Uh, don't be shy, just make sure you uh, drizzle all that wonderful sauce all the way around the plate. And then what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to top all this with uh, some shaved scallions, uh, some picked parsley, and some picked oregano just to give it a little bit of color because it kind of can be uh, sort of a dull dish. So this will liven it up and just give it a wonderful sort of refreshing finish to the dish. That smells incredible. Right away, you can, uh, you can smell the sherry wine. Oh, it's just so good. All the herbs, tender chicken, really earthy mushrooms. Mm, I'm excited for the chicken a la king. Whew. All right, let me dig in. This is like, it's almost like good old fashioned gravy and, you know, gravy and toast. Oh, wow. Mm. The mushroom flavor sort of permeates through this whole dish. So with every bite, you get some of the sherry, that earthy mushroom, and this really, you know, sort of chunky, tender chicken. Oh, it's so good. Really almost, I wouldn't say necessarily decadent, but it's definitely rich. But the herbs sort of tone it down a little bit, give it a little bit of sort of that refreshing, um, light, you know, flavor going on. Oh, fantastic. You guys got to try this out. Mm, this was so delicious. Incredible. You know what's great about chicken a la king is you can throw it over rice, pasta, potatoes, and uh, like I have here, some toasted bread, and it just makes for a wonderful dinner. Uh, but this is just a great dish. You guys have to try this out. Share it with your friends and family. If you guys enjoyed this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, comment below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. This recipe will be on my website, byrontavo.com, so go check that out. Full recipe breakdown. And uh, of course, I'll see you guys next time with another delicious recipe. Bye, everybody.